Okay, hi guys. I am actually recording right now for the first time. Um, what I wanted to do is share with you guys how I was able to create a wedding party and I just wanted to run through it again. So um, I re-downloaded my guys that I just got married and set it up to marry them all again. And we're just going to take it from there. So the first thing I need to do is download my wedding planner, which I actually made her for that. And I'm going to do it from the Manage Households. Her name is actually Wedding Planner. And I'm going to move her into the house of the individuals that is getting me that are getting married and I'm going to move her in with them and they're going to merge the family so now all three of them are there at the same time and she is just basically going to be um, a vehicle to help you create the bridesmaids and the groomsmen so that you can set their their um, outfits for the wedding and things like that and she also can help around at the wedding she can clean up the venue and order the pianist or what have you oh my god come on girl this is what are you doing this is not what I put her in so I am sorry guys but this is horrible um, that is not even on the outfits so I don't know where she got that from or why she's wearing that but I can't even look at her like that okay so anyway let's try this again this is the wedding planner um, so what we're gonna do I've already taken the time to get my two people together already they have their outfits ready we want this wedding to happen tomorrow and my wedding planner um, is here to start a club which is how we're going to do it and she's going to um, make a club called uh, the bridal party you can call it whatever you want I'm calling it the bridal car party um, I always put a description you don't have to of course all right so open invitation um, the club hangout I'm going to set the club hangout as the place that they're gonna have their wedding at which I already know where it's going to be. Um, it's going to be downtown, and it's going to be at the Chateau Gardens, which is a special venue that I built just for that. Um, now, my requirements, I really, you can set the requirements. It's up to you. I already know who I want to have in my wedding. If you want, like, a flower girl or um, a groom, um, a ring bearer or something like that, you can probably leave the age to include children or you can just um, restrict it to adults or seniors or what have you. I'm not even going to bother with it because I know exactly who I want to be in my wedding and I'm hoping that they show up. Usually the friends are the first ones to show up. So I'm going to set my actions of what I want them to do when they're at the wedding right now. I want to make sure they're drinking from the bar. I want to make sure that they are eating. So we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> social, I want to make sure that they're friendly. And I'm going to have them listen to live music because I do plan on having um, watch live entertainment. Some entertainment while we're there. Okay. Um, now what I'm looking for are some of my... I'm going to check this so that it started but just so that you guys can see I'm gonna look at my um, individuals and refresh myself on who their friends are because I want their friends to be able to come to the wedding and it's kinda of difficult when you have two different people one of the easiest things to do to make sure that both of your sims know the same people so that you can have both his friends and her friends or whoever the, the the two parties getting married are is that you could throw like a dinner party or something the day before and get everyone together and have them invite all of their guests over um, so that they can all mingle but for right now Amber which is her and you probably notice her she's just a random generated sim that you get through create a sim knows the most people so I'm going to go with her as far as the friends list um, to create the wedding but before I create the wedding I want to make sure that all of the people that I want to be in the wedding can be in the club so let's finish up this club real quick um, we're going to go to add members 
Now, Zion, I don't want to add the bride or the groom because they will keep changing into the bridesmaid or the groomsman clothes, and that just throws everything off. Um, let's see. I wanted Bajorn to be one of um, Zion's groomsmen. Marcus is a groomsman. And then I'm also looking for... Oh, my goodness. Not there. Let's add them and come back. I'm looking for two more of my girls. Clara. And I can't even think of their names right now. I think Hope is who I'm looking for. Now, what I might want to do, just so that some of the other people can come in, I'm going to see if I can get some of the other people to come in, because I really want her friends to be at the wedding. I keep trying, and his friends are there, but I'm having a hard time having any of her friends show up. Oh, you know what I can do? I am going to have her invite the two girls over that I want to be in the wedding that were not available. Um, that was Yesenia and Hope are the two people I wanted to be her bridesmaids. So they're going to come over and I'm going to have them meet the wedding planner and then hopefully the next time I go to edit the the bridal party they will show up. Um, now as of right now I'm not really paying attention to what they're doing. I'm just trying to get through the video. Okay so here's one of them. Here's Yesenia. And I'm going to have the wedding planner go up and to meet her so that she will know her and hopefully show up as one of the people that could join the club. And there's Hope back there, and I'm going to have her introduce herself to her as well. Um, hence what I was saying, you could throw a dinner party while the wedding planner is here, and she can meet everyone, and more than likely all of those individuals will then show up as... Um, available to join the group. So let's try it now and see if they're there. Uh, Yesenia is there now. And actually she's still meeting Hope. I should have waited until she was done with the note. So we got Yesenia. I'm just waiting for her to finish meeting Hope so that Hope can then become a member of the club as well. And there she is. So yes, the quicker way to do it, I guess, would have been to throw the dinner party and have all the people that I wanted to be in the wedding party here. And then that also will fall into actual gameplay so you'll feel like they're having a reception dinner. So now I have all of my individuals that I want to be in my wedding. She's going to have um, two bridesmaids and two groomsmen for her wedding. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and have Amber set up the wedding, which is going to be tomorrow. We're going to add an event. Go down here, hit wedding. And I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, guys. So that this video is not ridiculously long. Now, when you invite your guests from the wedding, you have to make sure that everyone that is in the, the group, the bridal party, is invited. Because once you call the group um, gathering, if they're not already there, they won't come. Um, I've tried that. I had the trial and error that I had to go through. Did Pop, was Papa Stank on there? Okay, so we got her two bridesmaids and two groomsmen. And them. Now, anybody else you add to come to the wedding is just extra, just extra fluff. But just make sure that you have the people that you really want to be there, to be there. Um, I think I am going to have a caterer um, because I am taking them to one of the bigger locations. The mixologist should be there, and I always hire my musician when I get there so that I can make sure that they play on the instrument that I want them to play on. Okay, I'm going to have them get married at 11 a.m. so I don't have to wait all day for it. And we're going to find... Um, there we go. Oh, nope, not that one. Let's... Oh, goodness gracious. Chateau Gardens. There we go. And we're done. So the wedding is set. And we will have the wedding happening tomorrow. So I'm just going to try to poo-poo through this day. It's 8.30 and we have a little ways to go. But um, again, in order to do the wedding planner, she needs to be there um, at least a day early. 
so that you can plan the groups and plan the outfits and things of that nature. So what I'm going to have her do now, well, me, myself do now, is I'm going to plan the outfits. So I've decided that I want her colors to be gray and pink. So I'm going to go into Modify Club Outfits. And in order to save time, I'm going to try to just do the outfit that they wear at, at weddings, which is usually formal. But for mine, I actually did every single outfit just to make sure that they showed up in the outfit that they were supposed to show up in. So, um, I'm just going to put them in a nice gray suit. I'm looking for a particular gray suit because as I said before I've kind of already did this and I really like the way it came out there we go all right and let's just throw some shoes on them they need some socks and there we go that's what my groomsmen are gonna wear and then I'm checking that and then I'm going to pick out an outfit for the bridesmaids now I didn't put any children in the wedding um, I could have made a ring bearer or a flower girl that would have been really cute for pictures um, but for time purposes I'm just doing it quickly because if you did a child or a female then you want to alter their outfits over there but we're just doing female and male adults And I don't know about you guys, but I tend to spend way more time doing um, my adult, my females, <laughs> their outfit more than anything else. Okay, so I want to look into a dress. I know exactly which dress I want. It's that one right there. And the shoes that I'm going to use. Ooh, those are cute. Actually, that's not the shoe that I used last time, but that actually is kind of cute. I guess it really doesn't matter okay and then I also had a little necklace for them because I want the pictures to look really nice and this necklace is not informal and I don't know about you guys but I'm forever taking the filters off um, to put what I want them to wear on there here now my bridesmaids this is what they're all going to be wearing so I'm gonna check that so now my outfits are set so that when we get to the venue, um, I will be able to start the gathering and they will change into their outfits immediately. And I will use my wedding planner to take pictures and things like that. All right, so I'm going to just speed through this night. I'm gonna try to get them to sleep as soon as possible. And what I'm going to do in the morning is just use a cheat to make happy so that I don't have to um, spend time keeping up their needs for this video because I just want to kind of roll along for you guys oh my goodness where is my wedding planner she is still out here talking to hope oh my god girl well I guess she's bored so I'm gonna let her continue talking <laughs> Um, and when I did this before, I really enjoyed having her because she was able to clean up after people. And if you're used to doing the gold events, then you know that um, you have to constantly do whatever it's telling you to do. And so I was able to focus on getting their goals completed, completed while she ran around getting the wedding together. Um, I had a serving buffet table that I allowed her to use. All right. We are a little over 12 hours from the wedding, and they're finally starting to get sleepy. So I'm going to let her go to sleep. My couple has not had woohoo. They are waiting for marriage for that. So this should be interesting. Uh, let me send these people home so that the time can speed up while they're sleeping. You can go to sleep now. 
Alright, so I just sent everyone to sleep um, so that the time can speed up a little bit and we can get to the wedding part of it. And I won't take you guys through the entire wedding. I just wanted to show you the whole setup of it and how it looks when everyone arrives in their wedding outfits. And then you can pretty much do whatever you like. You can take pictures. Oh, no, girl, I need you to go back to sleep. We still got another 10 hours to go. And she's not sleepy. She doesn't want to sleep. I really don't care. I really need this time to go. But anyway, once they're there and you get to the wedding, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, take pictures because I know some of you guys have poses. So you can make some really nice pictures um, for them. Oh, one thing that I do want to tell you guys is that when the wedding is over and you're about to take your wedding planner out um, of the household, make sure you get any photos that she took out of her inventory and transfer those to um, the individuals that you're actually playing so that they'll have their wedding photos. Now, when somebody else woke. Oh my goodness, someone else must be woke. What are you doing awake? I'm trying to speed up the time, so I need you to lay here and go to sleep. We are almost there. You will be getting married soon, and you're not going to need to do anything. Oh, thank God. You need to take a vacation day. Uh, let me have her take a vacation day as well while I'm thinking about it. Because we don't want them to stop their wedding from happening all right we are what time do we make this wedding 10 or 11 it's 11 so we are four hours from the wedding right now and i'm pretty much just letting them do with whatever because it doesn't matter um i just want to get to the wedding so i can show you guys how it works all right i'm just letting them Talk to each other. Oh, who's calling him? I heard you became friends with Bajorn. Oh my god, that's sweet. Moving on. Alright, we are two hours away from the wedding. They're just socializing. Just trying to keep them busy until we actually go to the venue. Oh, and by the way, since I have you guys here, this actually is one of my builds. Um, well, Weddings in an hour. This is a container house that I built. I also built this cozy starter home right here. Um, if you're interested in the Sims um, that are here, this one was just a computer generated one. But this Sim here, Zion, he I downloaded it from the Headliner 14 off of the gallery. And he comes as a celebrity already. And also my wedding planner Sim is available on the gallery as well. My ID is baby088. Uh, my wedding planner is on the gallery if you would like her. And now that you guys know how to utilize her. Um, I also have a lot of wedding venues. This venue that we're going to today, if you're interested in that, it's called um, Chateau Gardens. And that one is available under baby088 as well. Man, it has taken a long time to get to 11 o'clock. I'm sorry, guys. Weddings are hard, but I care so much about them, and I really wanted a bridal party, which is why I really wanted to do this. All right, the wedding is starting. Finally. Hopefully it's not raining, because the last time I did it, it was raining. But we're not going to let that spoil our good time. It's most of my venues that I make have... Um, indoor and outdoor wedding areas as well as reception areas so this is chateau gardens and everyone is dressed for a wedding ah the weather is beautiful so the first thing i'm going to do is have her my wedding planner start her club gathering okay that way they'll all be here and then i'm actually going to change my bride and my groom into the outfits that I prepared for them because they always come in this pre-made outfit which is not what I wanted the vision I have for them so they're gonna put on their outfits that I took time making and everyone should be changing momentarily 
there we go and there we go and look you see your bridal dresses and your groomsmen and sometimes people are late to the wedding so um, you have to give them a few minutes to get here but here are two of her bridesmaids well if you know one was the wedding planner so he's here this is one of his groomsmen oh my god I hope I did put Papa Stank in there did I not let's see what's supposed to be his other groomsmen uh, I forgot to add him bummer it's kind of late I forgot to add the other guy oh it's so my fault so Dominic you're just gonna have to show up buddy and hopefully he'll come so what I'm gonna do is in the get oh there's Papa Stank that's who I wanted to be in the wedding little fat one a bottle of rum it's too late now huh I just said I can't hear you yeah I just tried just added um someone else to the group and so now unfortunately I already added him but I'm gonna take him out and then I'm gonna add Papa Stank and then I'm gonna stop the, the gathering and start it again so that everybody can put their clothes on oh my god come on dude Baby, I'm trying to do this, and it's hard to listen to you while I'm doing this. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so I just kicked him out. She now knows Papa Stank, so now I'm going to add him to the group. And then I'm going to start the gathering again. There we go. And hopefully he'll change his clothes. I really wanted him to be in the wedding. He's actually one of my sims. Um, but anyway, change into your clothes, boy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, there he Man, as soon as he changed, I ended it. Okay. I'm going to start the gathering in a minute again. And then I have to get her started. Great. There he goes. Now he's finally in his groomsman out outfit. Okay. And everyone else should be in here. So, in the meantime, this is where they're going to be getting married. And I generally like to have some type of musician here. And I want the musician that I want here. So, I'm going to have her hire a violinist. And that way you can actually have the musician that you want because if you just say hire musician if you have more than one instrument they will go wherever they want to go but this way since I want to have the wedding here I click on the instrument that I want them to play all right so you guys have seen how it goes how I managed to have a bridal party and one of the things that you can do as the group leader is just click on a spot and tell the whole group to go there and so I can bring them all into the wedding area and take pictures over there um, also another thing that I did I think I have in this one I have a whole food photo studio and I actually need to add a couple of more but you can add a couple more of these I only have one marker but you can put three and I can call everyone over here and then tell her to take a picture of if you click on that take a picture of and you could do up to three people and so what I did was clicked on let me let her finish what she's doing I clicked on the the bride and the two bridesmaids oh look at them there's the wedding party yay look how beautiful they look now if this doesn't make for a beautiful picture I don't know what does and then you know you can take your time to get them everywhere you want and get the pictures and do your poses and things like that you can have them sit together and other things of that nature but I'm just gonna show you guys how I took photos real quick and then I'm gonna end this video because it's been getting kind of long so I'm clicking on here and I'm telling her take a picture of and then I'm gonna click on the bride and her two bridesmaids and then and what I should do is just have the whole group go over here just so anyone that might be roaming will get over this way because this is a huge venue okay let me make sure she's not doing anything and she's going where she needs to go why don't you come in here with your wife all right so she's already in position and she is waiting for the bridesmaids in the up oh, here they come looking lovely yay there's the bride and the bridesmaids are falling in look at this this actually would make for a beautiful picture as well because it looks like they're coming into the wedding walking in aren't they gorgeous okay but go on 
I always keep an eye on her because sometimes they get tired of waiting and they'll give up and leave. So I'm just going to make sure they stay situated. Get on over here. Take your picture. The toe. The picture thing came with Machino. I think that's how you say it in case you guys didn't know. Now they're all over here. Hopefully no one will block it. All right. Okay. Now I just got to find a way to get them all there. Oh. And this one, I don't have any backgrounds, but you can use the one with different colored backgrounds and things of that nature. And you can have them change their poses, take the picture. But she, oh, this is beautiful right here because all of she's in the middle and she's with her bridesmaids. This makes gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I wish I had this on a different background, but anyway, I don't. The point is just so you guys can see how it goes. And, you know, you can mess with the type of sizes that you want um, and the type of poses that you want them to make. And I made a really big one. So what I'm going to do before I end this is show you what you do. Now, you can usually do this at your house or whatever. But after the wedding is over, open the wedding planner's inventory and bring out whatever pictures she took. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, these are the little ones. Just little, and put them all either up here, put them all up on the wall. And then you go to one of your main characters and just move it into their inventory. So that you make sure when you transfer her from your household after you're done with the wedding and she's done her part and you don't need her anymore, that you have your wedding photos. Alright guys, and that's how I created my wedding party and the wedding planner and I hope that it was helpful I hope you guys are able to understand how I did it and you guys have a great time with it as well um, happy simming <laughs>